And welcome back to the show. Throughout the years, New Settlement Community Center has sought to provide people of all ages with skills to keep them safe, as well as live healthy lives through various services and programs. And New Settlement Community Center offers youth the opportunity to join their Blue Seal swim team. Recently, one of the students made swimming history. And joining us now to share more details, we are pleased to have the Aquatics and Athletics Director at New Settlement. We've got Corey Smith with us. And uh, Corey, uh, congratulations as you uh, continue to support youth and uh, you saw a return on investment in one of your youth in a very special way. Very much so. Yeah, I'm very proud. Very proud. So talk to us a little bit about uh, the program and also the special accomplishment of your youth. Um, well, you know, the center has uh, about eight, eight, 10 years ago was uh, brought to the community in the South Bronx to, uh, with a great facility and a pool to allow uh, the neighboring community and the youth to teach them how to swim. And uh, within the, the average, the regular group swim classes that we teach the community, um, we, <laughs> they developed a a, a swimming team and within that start building a swimming team and be competitive and then the kids started to do really well and build it and build it more and they got better and uh we have a viable swim team in the community in south bronx which is great and um they're completing at the, the junior olympics level which is um even more uh substantial and uh exciting as well so give us a little bit more about what we know to be the Blue Seals program, because that's uh, pretty special. So the Blue Seals is made up of uh, youth from ages uh, 7 and 17, and uh, boys and girls, and uh, they are basically coming from their group swim classes. And um, and other, other parts of the community as well, too, and they... Um, they compete every other month or so uh, as much as they can in competitive um, meets around the city, Tri-Spare area, tri area, um, through Metro, and as well as uh, we have one, two, three, four, five practices a week um, and for two hours, and uh, they work on everything from um, all strokes, distance, short course, long course, and uh, they're really gelling as a, a unit in a team. And that's always been our goal is to make sure that the community has a basis for um, building certain pillars of athletics, to using athletics and sports and fitness to help them grow as uh, the youth and seeing that they can also be, um, there's also opportunities other than uh, for other jobs and other opportunities that swimming can provide for them as well. Yeah. So you have a very special young man. He's 14 years old. His name is Andy Duarte, I believe. And uh, yeah. tell us a little bit about Andy. Uh, Andy's a co-captain of the team. He is, uh, he's 15 now actually. And he is, uh, he's extraordinary. He's extraordinary. He is a, an amazing butterfly swimmer. Um, he's moving into the IM and of an individual medley, which is a very, very hard race includes all the strokes um he uh you know and he's a leader i made him the team captain uh co-captain because he is a very non-verbal leader he just comes up does his does the workout he encourages those to who are having problems or having issues or having um corrective their strokes or motivating them he does it without even actually knowing he does it which is like to me, the best thing about a leader. Um, and he, besides his work ethic of just doing the work, he always improves, wants to improve on all aspects of his uh, athletic and uh, academic career as well too. So I'm super, I, every time I talk about Andy, I get excited and elated about him because he is, uh, he's, a, he's a really good young man and he's, uh, he's got great potential, great, great potential. And he's also qualified for the Junior Olympics, and that's got to be huge because when you think about young people and them getting their start, you could say this is a young person that got their start right with you. Exactly, exactly. And that's where, you know, he and I have been talking for the last two years uh, or last year or so about uh, a path for him. And that would be um, right now we're looking into college, um, if not the Olympics, college, you know, um, and that's a viable option for him because of 
his talent, his grades. He's a good student. He's a really community person too, actually. He's been in more. And when you talk about the young people that you have in your program, obviously an opportunity, uh, an opportunity for them to learn about aquatics. Uh, and we know the predominant sports are always basketball, football, baseball. But when we talk about aquatics, are we seeing more and more uh, young people gravitate towards there? Yeah, I think it's a, uh, you know, I think it's a seasonal uh, sport for people on the East Coast because of our climate and and where we live and not having access to it. But you know, um, we're a year-round pool at New Settlement. We're indoor, we're heated, uh, we're year-round. I, I think maybe we close three weeks out of the year, um, and that's for renovation and repairs. But um, it's very. Uh, uh, interesting and difficult for the resources and around the communities not to have a year-round pool, but um, you know it's it's really it's really great to see them in there in the pool swimming every day, just having fun. Just yesterday after practice, they were just having fun after practice. We had two-hour practice and they were going playing a, a, a water polo, and uh, I, I was like, "You guys just had two-hour practice. This is you're not tired. And no one to play water polo." <laughs> yeah yeah well listen i mean you know, when you're young you got a whole lot of energy and uh they they get it all in and you know some of us look and say uh that's a little bit too much for us but i guess for them it's something it's it, it's it, it's something that they can handle uh, for yourself what's it been like uh being that instructor watching not just the development of, them, of athletes but just as as young men and women it's been a, it's been my dream. Um, it's actually been a it's been my one number one goal is to provide as much access and as much availability for the community and these um, a lot of minorities within the community. We're only minorities in the community and show them that there's something more and they should have these access too and they should know that there's more than just what's in front of them. There's also you know, there's worlds, there's Pan Games, there's Junior Olympics. They just went to Florida a couple, last month. You know, I like to take them to an actual USA Swim uh, national team, national, so they can see the Olympic trials or something like that. So they can be a part of it and see the glimpse of their eyes. So watching them see that stuff and providing, giving them resources uh, as much as I can um, and the opportunities and talk to the parents and you know, shaping uh, to certain points, uh, guiding them to a path is uh, that's what I'm there for. So uh, I've always take that very seriously. And I'm very happy to be having a, a platform and an or a uh, opportunity to share more and to build the team and the culture of which we're trying to build it in and, and have them flourish further. So it's been, it's been a joy. It's been a really a joy to watch that happen and see them gel as a team and, and do well, not even just, just, and cheer each other. And that's what it's about, you know? Yeah. Well, Corey Smith, Aquatics and Athletic Director at New Settlement, thank you so much for being with us and uh, continue the great work of developing our young people. We appreciate having you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All righty. We want to let you know if you want more information, don't hesitate. You can visit the website at newsettlement.org. And of course, you can also visit them on their social media platforms at New Settlement NY. We do have more show. We encourage you don't go anywhere. Opens continuing coming up right after this. <laughs> 